Hi guys! For today's workout, we are going to be having a 20 minute full body workout for level 1 and 2 followers of our workout plan. Because this is a relatively short full body workout, we will be doing lots of compound moves to train as many muscle groups at the same time, so it will definitely work on your coordination as well. Do note that this is for both level 1 and 2 followers, so it is a little more challenging than the other level 1 workouts on our channel. If you are just starting out, don't feel the need to push yourself to do every advanced variation. We recommend beginners start with doing the main workout and even the simplified modifications. To make the most of this workout, each set will be repeated twice. To learn more about why we do this, click the link in the description for more information on the training effect. For this workout, we will be doing 45 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest in between. In, at the end of the first set, we will be having a 55 second break. When the timer is green, it means that you can take your rest. And when the timer is white, it means that it is time to start our next exercise. Like all other exercises, breathe out as you tighten your muscles and breathe in as you relax. For this workout, all you will need is a yoga mat and you don't even need any weights. Do remember to stay hydrated during the workout and to stop whenever you feel unwell. Without further ado, let's get started with our first workout, butt kicks and punch. For your lower body, Pull your heels towards your butt as you jog on the spot and feel the burn in your hamstrings, the back of your thighs. For the upper body, we will be doing alternating punches. You can do the punches with or without weights, but be sure to keep your fists around shoulder level and not higher. If this is too complex or too intense for you, you can tone it down a little with a basic jog on the spot with a punch. We have another compound move with sumo squat holds for the lower body and a triangle push for the upper body. Stand with your feet wide apart and go down for a sumo squat. Instead of standing back up, stay there and hold it for the next 40 seconds. For your arms, just follow the GIF and make sort of uh, an open closed triangle situation. <laughs> Um, throughout this workout, the important thing is that you tighten your shoulders and upper arms so you can feel the burn in your triceps and shoulders. Alternatively, you could do this move with squat pulses instead. Next, we'll be working on our arms and a bit of core with wall push-ups. Take a few steps away from the wall and lean into your hands before pushing up. Be sure to tighten your core and put as much weight as you can in the palms of your hands. If this is too easy for you, you can definitely take a few steps back or you can go to the next level, knee push-ups. Okay, back to the mat for more compound moves. For the crab walk, bend your knees at 90 degrees and take 3 to 4 steps laterally before changing directions. Do not stand up until the end of the 45 seconds. You can do this. While we do the crab walk, straighten your arms making a T formation with your body and do arm circles. We'll be switching directions after 22 seconds. and switch the directions of your arm circles now.
Good job, guys. We are almost at the halfway point of this set. Now, we have a high-intensity cardio move, power knees. For this move to be effective, you really need to drive your knee towards your hands and crunch your core. The more effort you put in, the more you will get out of this workout. Keep pushing guys, we are switching sides soon. Okay, and we are switching sides now. Come on guys, 20 more seconds left, push harder. Now, we'll be going down to the mat for our high plank to not only work the core, but also our arms. Be sure not to stick your butt up or let it go too low and imagine a straight line from your heel to your head. If this is too challenging, you can take it down a notch by doing a knee plank, but try to go back to your toes as soon as possible. If you want to push yourself, you can do mountain climbers, but do note that this is not a good friendly exercise. For this one, sit on your butt with your knees lifted. To feel the maximum burn, lean back as far as you can. This may seem easy, but just you wait. Hold this position for the whole 45 seconds without dropping. If this is too easy for you, lift your feet up and hold it there. You'll definitely feel the burn then. Staying in more or less the same position, lift your feet up and twist your torso. Create the letter V with your hands and tap them on the floor on both sides of you in an alternating fashion. There's no need for you to speed through this motion and it is important for you to feel the burn in your core. The further back you sit, the more burn you will get. To take this up a notch, you can definitely try tapping your elbows on the floor which will help you increase your range of motion. Inversely, to take it down a notch, you can rest your feet on the floor but continue the range of motion in your torso. The Russian twist is an effective way to build your core and shoulder muscles. It's a popular exercise among athletes since it helps with rotational movement and happens very often in sports. It may look like a simple movement but it definitely requires a lot of strength and support. This is one of my top 5 favourite ab moves. Going back to working on our arms, our second last move is the seated tricep dips. Staying in more or less the same position as before, place your hands in a triangle behind your back and do a reverse push-up. You do not need to go fast, but make sure that you are working your arm muscles instead of your elbow joints. If this is too easy for you, you can lift your butt up and do tabletop tricep dips, which means your butt does not touch the floor for the rest of the 45 seconds. For the last workout of this set, we are going to be doing a combination of fire hydrants and donkey kicks. We'll be switching legs after 22 seconds. For both of these workouts, we'll be targeting our glutes, which is basically our butt muscles. For both workouts, try to keep your knee bent at a 90 degree angle. 
and try to focus on mind muscle connection which is basically visualizing squeezing your glute muscles here this will really make it work and we'll be switching sides in three two one now I'll go on to your left leg or whatever leg you didn't do just now Good job everybody, here is your well-deserved 55 second break. After this break, we'll be repeating everything we did just now for the second time. Don't worry, at the end of this slide, there will be another 10 seconds of the preview of the next workout. So yeah, just letting you know.
Good job, everybody. I hope you're proud of yourself for taking this step towards a happier and healthier future. Do stay for some stretches with Alexia.